ASHRAE 62.2 covers some other topics beyond local exhaust and whole building ventilation. Let's take a look at them. Of course, they all relate to ensuring good air quality. ASHRAE 62.2 requires detailed steps to ensure that attached garages are sealed to prevent migration of contaminants into the adjacent living spaces. It also requires a carbon monoxide detector in each living unit. They must be installed according to NFPA 720 as well as any local codes. The standard also includes detailed requirements for provision of adequate combustion air to gas, oil, and solid fuel burning appliances. It references NFPA 54, NFPA 31, and NFPA 211. It also includes some statements about minimizing depressurization of the combustion appliance zone. ASHRAE 62.2 requires that any air that's drawn through ductwork and conditioned must be filtered. This includes both recirculated air and air brought in through a fresh air intake. The filter must be MERV 6 or tighter and be easily serviced and replaced. It must also be designed with a pressure drop low enough to ensure adequate system airflow. And there are additional duct requirements. Any ducts outside the pressure boundary must be sealed and new duct systems must be tested to verify that they're tight. In addition, duct systems must not serve any garage spaces. The standard also requires that all fans run quietly. Intermittently operated exhaust fans must generate no more than three zones. That's not super quiet, but those fans are off most of the time. Continuously operated fans and whole building ventilation fans must be one zone or lower. If more than one exhaust fan shares a common duct, each fan must be equipped with its own backdraft damper to prevent cross-contamination. Most ceiling mount exhaust fans have one built in, but inline fans don't, so one must be installed in the duct in those cases. ASHRAE 62.2 also states that all clothes dryers must be vented to outdoors. The current building code also requires this, as do most energy efficiency programs. The photo shows my dryer properly vented to outdoors with all metal ducting. The standard also includes an array of requirements specific to multifamily buildings. They include details about ventilation serving common spaces and serving non-residential spaces in mixed-use buildings, exhaust for parking garages, air leakage and air sealing between adjacent living units, the use of common ducts and requirements for minimizing cross-contamination. If you need more information, check out Section 8 of ASHRAE 62.2.2013. Well, we've just covered a lot of information about the details included in ASHRAE Standard 62.2. Let's take a few moments to summarize the most important points. This standard has evolved significantly since it was released in 1973. Since then, it's been adopted by numerous energy efficiency and green building programs around the U.S. And it's been composed with enough flexibility to be applied to both new construction and existing buildings. ASHRAE Standard 62.2 focuses on ventilation, including both local exhaust and whole building ventilation, to improve indoor air quality. It includes statements and formulas that establish minimum requirements, including flow rates for both local exhaust and whole building ventilation. The math required to calculate the appropriate fan flow is complicated, but software tools are available to make it easier. And the latest versions allow less credit for natural ventilation than earlier ones did. The 2013 and 2016 versions increase ventilation requirements for existing dwellings with substandard local exhaust. ASHRAE Standard 62.2 requires a continuously operating whole building ventilation system in all new construction dwellings that are participating in programs that have adopted its use. When compared to earlier versions, the 2013 version is much more likely to require whole building ventilation systems in existing buildings and proper design of any ventilation system is critical to ensuring that it operates effectively. The standard allows whole building ventilation systems that are either supply only, exhaust only, or balanced. These systems must include controls that allow them to either run continuously or cycle on and off to attain the desired average flow rate. 
and ASHRAE Standard 62.2 includes other requirements designed to ensure acceptable indoor air quality. They relate to air sealing, duct sealing, air filtration, combustion appliance safety, fan noise, exhaust venting, and treatment of multifamily buildings. You've reached the end of this course. We hope you found it to be interesting and helpful. If you have any feedback, we'd love to hear it. The best way to reach us is by email at admin at howbuildingswork.com. To get the listed continuing education credits for this course, you must score at least 70% on the quiz. All of the questions are directly out of the course content, so if you score lower than 70%, rewatch the lessons and take the quiz again. Thanks for attending. Thank you.